Well, of course, as a lawyer, you tend to go back to the dictionary definition. And it's wonderful to read it, actually. I enjoyed it. The strong desire to do or achieve something. Determination to achieve success. Enterprise, initiative, motivation, enthusiasm. Dreams, visions, callings, missions. I loved it. So are you ambitious? Oh, yeah, I am. I'm a border collie, you know. If uh, I wake up every morning and I just have to run. I thought when I was younger that it was just because I was young and we'd come to New Zealand and we didn't speak English, well I didn't speak English and we didn't have very much money and we didn't know anybody and we had no relatives. So I thought that actually that was what made me the way that I was but actually I was just born this way, I can see that now because I see I'm always going to be like this uh, and I can see that not everybody is like this. Can you describe for me the most ambitious person that you know? Probably uh, my sister Annie. Dr Annie Chen Green is ambitious for other people. So we need to be clear about the definition of ambition. You can be ambitious for other people, you can be ambitious professionally, you can be ambitious for your family, you can be ambitious for yourself in terms of your own development. So I think certainly for Annie, uh, she is so committed to helping other people, just amazed. What does she do? Well, she's a doctor, and uh, after the Christchurch earthquake, she ran uh, clinics to help people. She's still running a practice in the poorer part of Christchurch. She takes the proceeds, really, and she goes to Asia, and she works with orphans who live in the waste dumps and she trains them to be dentists and doctors. And she goes to a range of countries that I won't name because they usually go pretty much undercover. Um, but she's got a prison mission and she deals with stereotypes in those Asian countries where you've got to have a man around. By, by she, 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 she has whole teams of women um, who go out because if you put a man on the team then the women all stop working because they feel they need to take leadership from a man. She also has trucks that go out to the regions because a lot of people can't travel to clinics. So, I mean, she's just relentless. Well, she's always working. And she, if you give her something, she thinks, well, I could spend it on me, but I could give it to the mission. So, you know, she lives in poverty, really. <laughs> so I think, I think she's amazing. I have always been incredibly ambitious for my uh, profession, professionally. And that was because I was born the youngest of four girls. And my dad and mum were very anxious to have a boy. And they had me. So I was always very keen to show them that actually it wasn't such a bad thing. Uh, they kind of gave up after me. I think they realised they weren't going to have a son. And then of course we came to New Zealand and I realised that not only was it not great to be a girl, but it wasn't actually not great to be Chinese. And so you spend your life being underestimated and it is incredibly motivating. You can get angry or you can get even. Uh, and so the only thing that I hope for myself is that I would become less ambitious professionally and more ambitious for my own self-development and also for my family in the sense that I have great ambitions for them but part of that is my focus, my attention, my love and care and so I'm trying to switch my ambitions. Um, I always remember that Salvador Dali said that intelligence without ambition is like a bird without wings. And so it's clear to me that talent is never enough. You have to want it. When I went to Harvard Law School, I was expecting to meet a whole pile of really ambitious people, and they were. Um, and that really is the difference between people who achieve something and people who don't. Because if you don't really, 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 really want it, and you're not really focused and driven, you won't get it. Um, and the difficulty, though, is to be able to switch it off, in a sense. I've never needed to be more ambitious. I think I've always needed to be less ambitious, really. But ambitious for different things.